So you're in Pixelmator Pro and you want that faded look that you see all over the place on Instagram and on YouTube and on everywhere. And you go down and you go to that little button that says fade and you press on. You see how it looks with it on and you're just kind of disappointed with the final result of the effect. Well, there's a better way to do it. This way you have a lot more control and it just looks a lot better. Step one is the most important step and that is with the curves. So you're gonna go down to curves. It's basically, you're gonna do an S curve. Whenever you go to do the shadow portion, you're gonna raise up the pure blacks up pretty, pretty high. You can mess around with it however you want, whatever you think looks the best. Usually it looks the best whenever the blacks and the shadows are level with each other. You could leave it there but that doesn't look super good because we haven't done the basic corrections yet so move on to the basic corrections this is where you can pretty much just move everything around to where you think you want it uh, what I like to do is I like to bring the shadows down a decent amount because it'll add more darks for it to be faded because what you're fading is the darks so having more darks in the photo will give it more of the effect creative adjustments so the, all the colors and all the the color wheels and the specific selective colors and all of that um, I usually like to mess with that usually I like to mess with those first so I can get an idea of how I want the photo to look but the idea of this photo is to get the fade, so that was that's why we're doing that one first. So you can get the effect and then go and adjust everything to follow that specific idea. And that's pretty much it. After following these three steps, you should have a pretty awesome looking photo. I will see you guys in the next one. Click this one right here if you want to see a tutorial on how to add fog to your photo as well.